guys and welcome back to a new tutorial and a new video this one I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for it me too because I wanted for so long to do the circle or round blanket uh, but I never started it so today I have finished one and I'm sharing with you how to do it from A to Z also as usual you'll find the written pattern in my blog uh, and here I'm going to show you how to start it so it's very easy uh, to make it's just double crochet stitch we go round and round and this is the colors I have used they're mostly earthy colors but it's up to you to choose whichever colors it's a very nice blanket once you finish it and you can make it as big as you want so these are the colors I'm trying to make everything fit in the video but it's a big blanket yeah so um, I will also uh, include in the description box the uh, color palette which you can use for many projects and uh, the circle blanket is one of them so for this project I have uh, made 39, uh, 30, sorry, 39 rounds uh, of crochet stitches so total is 39 and for each color I used one full uh, ball of yarn which is Red Heart Soft the usual my favorite one uh, this uh, though it's a line brand it's not Red Heart and then I continued with Red Heart they have a similar uh, <coughs> yarn to red heart in lion brand if you can uh, if you want to choose that one i'll put the link to all the yarns i used as one well, yeah so one full and you notice that with uh, whenever the uh, blanket gets bigger the number of uh, rounds gets less and less but it's one full yarn ball for each and you see here it's only one two three only four rounds for the black one although i started it I started a new one and here it's also many rows it's almost 17 or 15 rows only with one yarn ball same size same weight so to know how to make it just stay tuned for the rest of the video also watch the entire videos for more explanation how I achieved this so here as usual I will start with the slip knot to make my first round of circle I will chain 4 and I'll join with a slip stitch onto the first chain next I will be chaining 3 And I'll make total of 11 double crochet in the circle so chain 3 plus 11 double crochet total of 12 double crochet in the first round Next, I will join with a slip stitch again 
as you can see and I'll chain three for the next round now what I'll make is one double crochet in the same stitch and then two double crochet in each of the next stitches so round two we need to have two double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round where I'll again join with a slip stitch so before I close uh, sorry before I close the uh, round two what I made initially I started with the chain three and then on to the next uh, stitch I made two double crochet now before closing I added one double crochet into uh, the first chain three to make it double for the initial uh, starting point you can me make it either that way or you can make a double crochet stitch in the same chain three either at the beginning or you can make it at the end to make your circle look all even and you don't have this uh, line of uh, chaining three on each row I hope you can understand what I mean Now on to round three. Okay, now I have chain three in round three and onto the next stitch I will make two double crochet and the next one one double crochet so I will alternate two double crochet one double crochet two one two one until the end of the row you should be finishing last with two double crochet before joining uh, onto the chain three to start the next row
and here is how it looks you can see that uh, it's all even and you cannot see any gap into the starting point of each row now on to row 4 where I'll again chain 3 now I'll be increasing the single double crochet by 2 means the next stitch I'll make 2 double crochet in one stitch and the next 2 stitches I will make only 1 double crochet in each so 2 1 1 2 1 1 and that will happen in every round from now on, now on I will be increasing one double crochet single double crochet in each stitch so like we said in this row two double crochet one double crochet one double crochet then two then on to the next row two double crochet one 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 two if you find it a bit confusing refer to the written pattern and you will understand it clearly So this is how my circle should look like and I'll continue the same, uh, doing the same until I obtain uh, the length or the width of uh, my desired blanket. So now this is my finished blanket and it's very big, it's bigger than my table, that's why I can't show you all the details. So as we have said, uh, one ball of yarn each, so I started to do the beige color. Then I continue, I continue to the brown, then dark green, then the guacamole green from, again, Red Heart, and I added the black, okay? So you can, as you said, we said, uh, you can add any color you want later on if you want to make it bigger. So I will just measure this one to show you how big it is. So in inch... inch and in centimeters 127 127 centimeters and 50 inch this is how big it is I'll try and include a video a, yeah a, a portion of the video where you can see the full blanket again I hope you like it and you find it easy to uh, do it's very easy nothing complicated as we said only one stitch which is double crochet and going in round <coughs> Excuse me. 
I had a question previously on my blog whether you should uh, continue uh, with single double crochet in each row or you have to do the two double crochet in one stitch. So to keep the blanket straight you need to always do the two double crochet stitch uh, which is depending on the number you're achieving. So uh, let's say here I have reached the 39th row so I did uh, 37 uh, double crochet in uh, sorry 37 yeah double crochet uh, double crochet and then uh, on the 38th stitch I did two double crochet you will see as you evaluate with your work you'll get like uh, points here it will look like slices uh, that's like the divider let's say or that's where you need to uh, make your uh, two double crochet if you don't like to count in every stitch once you reach let's say you finish with your first ball what you can do uh, whenever you reach the previous two double crochet you make two double crochet so all the two double crochet in one stitch are supposed to be on top of each other that way you get your work right i hope it's clear to understand if you have any questions again leave it in the description box and enjoy your new blankets see you next time bye bye